Hi everyone, congratulations first on your 25th anniversary. My name is Lena Hidalgo, I'm the Harris County Judge, and let me first start with, with a really quick explanation of what my job is. My title, of course, is Judge, but I'm actually the executive of Harris County. So Harris County is larger than 26 states in population, larger than, than most of the states in this country. We've got five million people, 34 cities, including the city of Houston, and I help manage the budget for the county. When you think about a public hospital, a public library, the jail, the criminal justice system, the flood control systems, the bayous and channels, all of that is funded by Harris County government. And I, along with four colleagues, decide how those funds are spent. I'm also the director of emergency management. When there's a fire, a flood, COVID, for example, somebody needs to be in charge of the emergency response of what we need to do and not do. And those are decisions that I make for this county. I share all of this with you all because I, when I ran for office, when I ran for this position, very few people thought that somebody who looked like me could win the position and carry it out. I was elected at 27, obviously I'm a, I'm a woman, and I'm speaking to you all as strong women leaders, current leaders and future leaders. And I want to tell you that you shouldn't doubt yourself nor think that you can't do something you want to do. I can't tell you how many people told me, you know, the folks that have had that position are usually so much older, they had always been men, by the way, that had been elected, um, or who said, you know, the issues that you care about can't be addressed by that position. I care very much about the environment and climate change. I care about criminal justice reform. I care about voting access, making sure that however people vote, that they have access to the ballot box. They told me that that wasn't something the county judge should worry, worry about, that the county judge should only focus on roads and bridges. But as we came into office, I've found those really are issues we can work on, and we've gotten so much done. I hope that whatever you're interested in, that you continue to pursue your interests, what you're passionate about. Even now, right now when you're in middle school and you're in high school, you can lead in your community, you can lead in your school, explore the issues that you care about. And then afterwards, I hope that you'll engage in helping make your community a better place. COVID has been so hard for all of us. We're gonna have to rebuild and it's gonna fall on your generation to make sure that we come back stronger, that we tackle all the issues facing society. And so uh, whether you go into business or whether you go into science, whatever it is, I hope you focus on giving back to your community. And I sure do hope that some of you guys go into government and elected office because there's so many big decisions to be made and we need more women, more young women there. As I said, I've got a team. Uh, there's five of us that make these decisions. I'm the only woman and I'm the youngest one by about 30 years. So we need more like us. And I'm just so happy that you guys already are leading, participating in this program. And I hope to see you continuing to lead in your schools and then in the community once you graduate.